Ah, this fire is so lovely. Especially with how cold it is outside. Arr, hello everyone, and welcome back to the walkthrough. So we're gonna go through this door now, which is going to take us through the back, uh oh, back route that was blocked by those ice pillars over there that I couldn't get through before. But first, I've gotta murder some wolves. Some demon wolves, some demon arctic wolves, some white wolf wolves, whatever you want to call them. And... And... Oh, that's a normal Freezard. A, you know, normal size one. Come on, I wanna Z-target you. <laughs> Stop running away! Duh! <laughs> Come on, there we go. One more. They're very... They're very afraid of my wolf form, apparently. <laughs> they actually can't do very much to me. Uh, Okie okay, dokie. Okay. Let's look around, see if we are missing anything. I can't really do anything about... Oops. I can't really do anything about you right now, can I? Oh, this looks really beautiful in uh, sense mode. I have to say. Okay... That's back the other way. But that's not what I want to do, I believe. I want to transform back into a human. I think this cannon is loaded. I could be wrong though, but what I want to do is, a, is turn it this way. One more. Come on. <laughs> I'm going to stick a bomb in it. This better work. Oops. Insert. Run. Watch it die. Or... yeah, it's not loaded. Dang it! So, does that mean... Oh, this is why you do not want to be... Uh, actually... Am I might... Because I have to pick this up with, um... As a human. Hey, wait, what am I... Yeah, what am I missing around here? Because you get the cannonball from the other side, now I remember, and then you... Bring it through there. Oh, okay, this window. Sneak- uh oh What is that? <laughs> that was frightening. I'm just gonna go through this door and leave everything behind. Uh oh Oh, I love this room. And... Now, see that? They can't go up this little ledge. So feel free- So feel free to attack them from up here safely. Uh, and an easy way to get around them would be to um, use your spinner, actually. It won't cause any damage, to my knowledge, but it is rather nice at just getting past them. Uh, uh, this one already took damage, so I can just, yeah, just pop it like that. And I gotta take this cannonball with me. Uh, because I know there's more of them around the corner, and they're just gonna get in my way. <laughs> I better take care of them. Come on. There you go. I knew you would hear me. Boop. Oh, jeez. I don't know where the other one's coming from, though. Like, I didn't know if it turned a corner or something, but I guess not. Boop. That was funny. I just kept sliding while grabbing the cannonball at the same time. And the reason why you want to take this with you is because you got to get this room partially cleared out of poop. You'll see what I mean once- oh! <laughs> You'll see what I mean once I- once I get the cannonball over to the cannon. Eventually! There we go. Ah, oh, the coast is clear. <laughs> now this is what's so cool about this room. As you can tell, it's- it's a frozen over normal room in general, which is very cool. But, the fact that you can destroy this room makes it even more fun. <laughs> I'm gonna plop that in there. And now put a bomb in there. Like, for instance. See how you can break stuff like that? Then you gotta retrieve the cannonball, unfortunately. So that that's kind of like the only downer of this room, because in order to destroy everything, you've got to keep going back and forth to get the cannonball to the cannon, and yeah, you get the idea. So, reload, and let's turn it over. 
Oh, maybe I'm supposed to use the dungeon item to fully clear out this room. Yeah, because I can't shoot the other ones from this angle anyway. Okay, so I guess it's not as cumbersome as I thought. But this room is pretty pretty neat in general. I mean, just look at this thing. It's, it's like everything is frozen in time, so to speak. Um... I just want to make sure I don't I didn't miss any chests or something like that. I don't I don't think I can get any more anyway because I don't have the dungeon item that I need and I can't go through doors with this. I forgot. Dang it. <laughs> so that means I'm going to have to leave the cannonball behind, I suppose, and get a cannonball from somewhere else. Hmm. Maybe it's going to be this room. Oh boy. <laughs> oh my. Do not fall. For down is death. I've went through this with you before. Just saying. If you haven't seen my other videos, so oh my. You should get get to those. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh geez, ice keys. But these will knock you off, and that would suck. Um, I'm gonna try and do this intelligently. I'm gonna do that. And shoot them off the edge. <laughs> Alright, now I gotta carefully navigate my way through the structure. Oh my. Uh, I gotta make a jump somewhere. Do not. Whoa! Oh jeez. I was trapped up! <laughs> I had to jump. I mean, not jump for it. I had to attack for it quickly. Oh jeez, it reset these guys all over again. That is just sad. Where did that other one come from, anyway? I'd like to... Was it up there? No? I just seen a little detail flicker and I thought that was one of them. Alright, so... Yeah, where do they come from, anyway? Because it doesn't seem... <sighs> ah! <laughs> because it doesn't seem like that, um... I can shoot them before I get to the spot that I want to get to. Alright, I'm just gonna spawn them and... Go back a little bit. Hey, wait. What? Come on. There we go. Where's the other one? Number two. Where are you? <laughs> I'll just get rid of... Oh, that's in my way. I was fooled by the camera angle. <laughs> well... <laughs> I have no idea where that came from. Because that was not there before. Or at least it didn't seem like it was. Okay, I'm just gonna do that. Move on ahead. No, no! This room is giving me so much issues. <laughs> I know this room isn't that hard either. I'm just uh, I'm getting antsy being on such a thin area, I suppose. <laughs> nope, nope, nope. I thought I Z-targeted and then swung, but no, I didn't. Boop. I was playing billiards with them. <laughs> okay, what is the best way to get through this room anyway? Oh, jeez. I hear another one. Okay, I'm gonna... Seriously, where are... the other ice keys? Hmm. Is it really a good idea to slide through here again? I'm not sure. There we go. Alright, I can make this jump right. Yeah. Okay. Open. I think I made it through the room. Thank God! That was a disaster. <laughs> as long as I get to... Large safe spots. I should be good to go. And this, I think, is the compass. Indeed, it is. Woohoo! <sighs> All right. Now, where am I? What am I looking for in this room? Was it just the compass? I don't think it was just the compass. Although, let me check my map. <laughs> it does actually seem to be. The only thing in this room... And I didn't get a key. 
Uh, oh. <laughs> well, I can use a claw shot to get back. I noticed that there's that on the wall, so that's nice. Yeah, there's there wasn't anything else around here. Like, I didn't see any claw shot targets from that side or anything like that. And I know that's blocking one up there. Hmm. <laughs> Let's go back in here and see if I can get that chest that is up on that ledge. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. <laughs> Just gonna get him out of my way there. Now... Where can I get up onto that ledge to get the chesty thingy? Hey. Or wait, is it? Yeah, that's up there. Am I able to... Grab onto the window? No, I didn't think so. Or maybe this is something that I'll be able to get later? Can I climb up there? No. <laughs> I don't think I remember this room all that much, but I do remember it is a, it is a pretty neat room, that's all. <laughs> think, good thing I have a fairy, I have to say. I'm playing very clumsily. <laughs> through here. Okay, maybe I just simply can't get the thing in this room and I'm supposed to use the compass to get myself a chest back in the main room, which hopefully contains a key of some sort. What is that sound when I come through here? <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Did I just take... Dang it, I just went through the same door. I was distracted by the sound. <laughs> I'm supposed to hop through the window again. Alright, so there's supposedly a treasure chest right around here, so that means... Ah! I'm supposed to dig for it as a wolf. Or at least that's what it seems like. So I guess this one's a little bit more hidden than that other one that was sticking out of the snow. So let's dig here. There we go. I'm gonna have to dig twice, aren't I? Yeah, that's really buried deep in there. Come on. Okay, three times. <laughs> Key? Yeah! But it was worth going through the other route anyway for the compass and whatnot. Okay, so... Wait a second. Well, I, I know I can go through there, but... I, I was, I'm, I'm trying to think of how I get into that central area, because that central area leads to... The next thing and oh this is where I get the cannonballs from okay now I remember <laughs> and that is a way through here what I want to do is put a cannonball Wait, actually I gotta flip the switch first like that grab the cannonball put it on there and that's how you switch between rooms I don't know if I need oops need to come up here just yet Oh, jeez. I don't think I'm able to come up here just yet because of that Freezard. You don't keep spewing, do you? No, you do not. So there is no way to get up there. <laughs> At least not right now. So let's go through here. Once again. And this is how you move cannonballs between rooms. Is you use these things on the walls here. These are cannonball transporters. Apparently they, they needed them in ancient times because, you know, they couldn't use doors. <laughs> I'm gonna take this over to the cannon! Oh, so heavy with and snow and stuff. There we go. It's already pointing the right way, so... Just use these bombs because they're in... You know, they have a higher supply than the water bombs. And this will kill off that Freezer. Yeah! And they spawn a seemingly random amount of mini Freezards once you kill the big one off. It's not... There, there doesn't seem to be any set amount, so I, I, don't, I don't really know how many they seem to spawn in specific. So you just gotta realize that you gotta get those out of the way. Oh, jeez. This room... 
Oh my. <laughs> Uh oh. Oh, geez. This is the mini boss of the dungeon known as Dark Hammer. And yes, he is one of those kinds of enemies that swing a mace around in circles, but in 3D. You know those enemies back at, um,. Hyrule Castle way, way back in uh, Link to the Past. Yeah, those kinds of enemies. So you want to... Whoa, 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 whoa! You want to get on the other side of him and then attack his backside like that because his tail is the only thing that is exposed, but you can only really do that when he is throwing... Oh, jeez. Oh, jeez. When he's throwing his ball towards you because he's distracted then... Oh! <laughs> and I have to have him do it again. Come on. Come on, over here. Get a little closer, please. It's much easier to dodge that giant mace ball thingy. I don't want to say the name of it too early, because you'll see what I mean. <laughs> yeah, come on, swing it. I mean, throw it at me. Or is he only going to do it when I switch sides? Yeah, he only does it when I switch sides, okay. Forgot about that. It just came to me once again. <laughs> Alright, well. Still very happy that I have that fairy. <laughs> Alright, come a little closer. I know you're very slow, which I'm used to my advantage. Mm, zip over here. Drop off. And roll. Off to the other side. Okay, this is really easy. <laughs> He's making a mountain out of a molehill. Oh! Just gotta get away from him fast enough. And you can grab anywhere on the ceiling, obviously. You don't just you don't have to grab specifically onto oops, onto those hook shot targets. I mean <laughs> claw shot targets. Hook shot. Pff, hook shot is so last Tuesday. <laughs> closer, please. I need to get far enough away from you to dodge your doom. <laughs> um, you know what? I can just do that, actually. That's a little bit easier. Rather than, you know, claw shot over him the second time, after he throws it. Yeah, I once I dodge it like this, then I can just go around and attack him like that. Yeah, I'm definitely. It definitely made more of this boss fight than it needed to be. <laughs> All right, throw it, throw it, throw it. Yeah. And now that I got the hang of it, he's pretty much done. <laughs> Always gotta watch the enemy's movements closely in order to figure out the best way to, you know, kill him off. <laughs> Voila. And this is why I didn't want to say the name of the item, I mean, that he had, because I would kind of spoil it. <laughs> that thing that he dropped is this game's dungeon, I mean, this dungeon's dungeon item, known as the Ball and Chain. Yeah, it's a pretty generic name. <laughs> now, this item, very, very fun, I have to say. Uh, I can pretty much replace that bottle, I think. Until I get some more soup. It's like this room here, it's... Like, how do you get through here? It's all blocked off, and you just... You can't do anything about it with your sword or anything like that. But... Oops. Feel free to whip out your ball and chain. Wait, what? I thought you could... Huh? I thought you could destroy that stuff. Why did I think you could destroy that stuff when you can't destroy that stuff? Hmm. It seems. Ah, whatever. Let's just move on. <laughs> oh, there's a lot of stuff in this dungeon that you can destroy with this ball and chain, such as. Suits of armor! And. Whoa! Ice bubble! And is that a. 
yeah, it's an orange rupee. Very rare. Worth a hundred. Uh, you can also destroy barrels. You can pretty much destroy the entire place for the most part. And why? I, I just don't remember why I thought I could destroy those bars. I, I don't... Maybe I'm able to destroy something else that's similar to that, and... No, that is not the bedroom key. <laughs> <sighs> yeah, looks like we have no other choice but to go back. Sad, isn't it? Uh, this room seems to be in good condition for the most part. Although I'm doing a pretty good job destroying what is left of it. <laughs> Can I destroy that? Nah, it looks too solid because it's frozen. Can I knock stuff off the walls? Mm -hmm. Maybe. It, this, this thing is very fun to play with because it's neat to figure out, or I should say, it's neat to find what kind of stuff you can destroy with it. But I, I could have swore you could destroy that. Mm. I don't know. <laughs> I mean, just look at the map down there. Maybe that's maybe that's what confused me before, because you see it looks like there's green to the left and right of this hallway here, indicating that it, it should be, or at least I would think, that it is something that you can walk around in, and yeah, I don't see any, any of these that have particular weakness to them, but I could have sworn that you were able to go through them. Well, whatever, there doesn't seem to be anything hidden behind there anyway. Because there's no treasure chest symbols or anything like that. But I don't know. My memory just must have failed me in that room. My apologies. <laughs> anyway, let's go back to here. And I want to go through here because I want to show you something. Oh, I, I can't do it through here. Dang it. I was thinking of something else. Oh, my memory is really failing me today. <laughs> and I just... Although I could show you this... You can now break apart these things with your ball and chain to get pretty much anywhere you want. And, ooh! Twelve time. <laughs> Gotta take care of them before I can do anything more in this room, I suppose. They just can't do anything to you when you, when you just keep pressing the A button like that. Alright, let's get up here. Hopefully that other one over there that I've seen won't bug me too much. I just want to open that path because there's a treasure chest behind it. I know there's no snow here, it's all safe for me to run around. Oh, more bombs. I guess that's for the cannon in case I happen to run out. I'm going to transform into a wolf just to be safe. And over here... Wait, 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 wait. Am I at the right door? No, I'm not. Uh, my sense of direction is not here today either, apparently. <laughs> there we go. Go through the store. And let's go over and deliver the cheese to Yeto. And improve that soup some more. And recover our health, dang it. <laughs> Why are you so rough? I'm already low in health. That sounds awesome, actually. <laughs> yeah, I will recover my health a tad here. I don't know if I need my bowl right now. And we have a pumpkin cheese fish soup. Known as Superb Soup. And it recovers eight hearts. The same as a red potion, actually. Now that's a good soup. <laughs> so I'm just gonna bottle some up on the go. You know what, actually, I'll, I'll refill my health to the max. Why not? <laughs> Woohoo! And good. Back to Yetta. <sighs> I'm afraid I have to chew her out again, even though she's sickly. Because she just does not remember where the bedroom key is. <laughs> okay, so that's on the second floor now. Um, there's a bunch of stuff that I can clear out 
on the first floor still, I think. But I think I'm going to do that in the next part. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you then.